Yo, what is up, guys? In this video, we got this package from Walmart. Yeah, I didn't know. So, yeah, also recycled. Alright. Let's see what we got. Oh, 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 Bakugan. Let's go. Alright, get him out of here. Ow, I hit my finger. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, we'll, we'll get into this. Ow, I just hit my finger again. Dang, I'm too hype. All right, anyways, so we got this awesome Bakugan Geogon Rising Geogon Brawler Pack, man. So this one features Darkest Arcleon and Aquas Serdoran. They look sick. Honestly, Arcleon and Darkest looks really cool. That translucent purple plastic is awesome. Looks so great. And also, Serdoran's always nice. Just a design for it. There it is, an Aquas, man. And then there's Arcleon. Yo, the flames that are coming out of it kind of flames are green. That's sick. But, yeah, dude. Um, also, uh, three cores that come with this package as well. <clears throat> So, uh, Darkest Pinsitar, yo, Ventus Fenica, and Heia Sharktar. All right, pretty cool roster for this. Um, and then we got the Battle Matrix and Starter Packs down there. They're showing off the Starter Packs, so that's really cool. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, definitely be on the lookout for them if you haven't found them already. I'm um, thinking probably early February. I know a lot of places might be, like, kind of barren for Bakuyan, but probably big time in the beginning of February is when the stores are going to be getting a lot of stuff. I mean, even my local store has been getting a small little bit of stuff, like some Geogon, but under the three packs are, like, the uh, Geogon Brawler packs yet. So, yeah, man, but without further ado, let's get into it, and I'm probably going to Reptire it because I don't feel like it. Let's go. Yeah. Yay. Yay. If I can get it, <laughs> I'm trying to just. I'm afraid I'm just gonna like fling it across the room. Oh, that's why, because that tape's not out of the way. All right, there we go. Boom. Got uh, kind of a skirt. Ah, you ate that. And, all right. Boom. And holy tape. What the? F that one piece of tape. That's like a big time troll, dude. But yeah, I mean, just with. All the packaging, it's already in. I don't think it needs that much tape, but you know, it's all, all good. At least they're being uh, safe and such. And I mean, there's multiple gate cards in here, so that's really nice to see. So I'm not bending all those cards. But yeah, I think what? Are the cores? I think the cores might be in here. Yeah, okay. So the cards are here. And yeah, ah, if I don't have butter fingers. All right, there we go. Get those out of there. Set those over there. Yeah, the cores are in here. All right, get that. Yeah. Okay. And la la la. All right, cool. <laughs> and throw that out to the side. Now I gotta get the Bakugan out. This should be the easy part. So I enjoy that. Like with this, you see, they don't have any other plastic strips. Hallelujah. Uh, they're a pain. <laughs> and the fact this doesn't have any, like, I, I dig that. Just how the molds are. You see. So you can go without the plastic strips. But anyways, let's just, let's get into it. All right, so I guess we'll get into the uh, gate cards first. I think there's three of them. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yo, check it out. Uh, Fang Zor right there. 100, 600, 300, 100, 200, 300. So Aqua's getting a big boost with this gate card. And then I think that's Cyrus right there. Looking so sick. Minus 200, 700, minus 200, 700, minus 200, 700. So Aquas, Chaos, Darkest, all getting a big time boost on this. So, yeah, these are big for the standard way of playing the game. That's why I'm showing them off. So, you know, anybody who just plays the standard way uh, can know what. Uh, gate cards come with it. So 700 minus 200 minus 200, 700 minus 200, and 700. So Pyrus, Chaos, and Dark is all getting a big time boost with this. So yeah, man. Also, what the heck is that Bakugan? Like, I don't think we've seen that Bakugan actually in ball form. You know, it's really cool. Like, like look at the wings. It's got two wings on one side. Some of these has got like four wings and kind of looks like a dragonfly a little bit, at least the first part of the body. So I definitely want to see that, uh, that be a figure. But uh, yeah, dude. So now let's get into the cores. Uh, plus three. Okay, some pretty good damage with that. Minus 500 big trap magic shield right there. Uh, Pyrus and Vent is getting plus 400. Minus 200. At that trap right there. Uh, plus 300. That's a nice shield for sure. So two pretty nice uh, shields with this. And then uh, plus 100 and Pyrus and Ventus getting plus three. 
All right, so pretty good fist with it. Some pretty good cores that come with this. All right, so uh, I'll get into uh, da, 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 da. why not? We'll get into the uh, Geogon first. So let me get my uh, handy dandy gate card, and we got Aquas Serdaran. Here we go, man. Boom. Hey, there it is. Looking so sick. Look at that light blue right there. I guess like kind of the horns on the sides. Um, this big old body. It's B Powers 2000. My goodness. Uh, yeah, it shows. Geogon are meant to be a one time big hit. That's why you can only have one per deck. You know, so a way of like boosting some uh, Bakugan. Well, mainly like the Geogon themselves, but you know. You play them like how you play Baku Gear cards. You have to play the cost. And with this being 2000, it's probably going to be up there in cost. That's my guess. Uh, you know, keeping that balance and such. But yeah, it's got the feet right there. You got those arms. Overall, you can see kind of the big time uh, design for it. You know, just with the huge elongated body. Like I said, the design for it's a lot like a Razenoid, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, dude. Are these manual? I didn't even see these. Are these parts meant? They might be manual. I just don't want to force them out if they're not manual. I have no nails, so yeah. Oh, they are manual. Okay, so these parts in the back are actually manual. I just have no nails. I got stubs, guys. Uh, M stubs. <laughs> My boy. Uh, come on. There we go. All right. Yeah, dude. So it does have manual parts with it. That's pretty cool that even the Geogons still have some uh, manual parts with them. But the way to close it, pretty simple. Head back, arms in, and then put it all together. And there you go. Aqua Serdaran, all closed up. So, yeah, dude. Now, let's get into uh, Darkest Arcleon. Looking so epic. It looks so sick. Look at all that purple. The translucent purple plastic looks so, so good on it. Oh, yo, the wings, the black and the purple. That looks sick, man. That looks so good. And the translucent on the tail. This this looks awesome. It looks really awesome in Darkest. But, yeah, the B-Power is 1,000, so I won't be surprised if it's, like, second turn. Uh, you can use it. But, yeah, two energy. But, uh, yeah, dude. So, boom, boom, boom. You guys saw how I closed it, you know. But Darkest Arcleon. The ball form looking so awesome. I love that translucent purple plastic. It just, uh, it's so good. Looks so, so awesome. All right, now let's get into the core Bakugan. So, I guess first things first, if it doesn't open on me. Well, since you want to go so bad. <laughs> we'll get into Shark Tar. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, it wanted it. It wanted it. Let's try this again. What? All right, you know what? <laughs> We're doing that. I <laughs> just want to hope it so much. Hopefully, it's not like an error with it, you know, to where it just opens by itself. That would suck. Um, yeah, it's kind of the case with my Darkest Hydra's Ultra. But, yeah, man. Anyways, here is Chaos Shark Tar, the core version. All of that turquoise blue on the mouth, the sky blue on the fins. And then you can see that fin right there. A lot of turquoise blue with this. A little bit of sky blue, but mainly turquoise. But... Yeah, dude, the core ball form for it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, just the fins. Be power of 200, though. Uh-oh, imagine if it's double fist. I mean, that would be good for, like, a, a fist deck, I guess. But I definitely see it getting the magic shield. So, yeah, but there is uh, Chaos Shark Tar. Looking so sick. Let's see. All right, there we go. Oh, no, don't tell me it's a dud. I'll be so sad. It's like opening by itself a bit. Hopefully that doesn't mean it's a dud. I, I really hope not. That would be really unfortunate if the mold's like messed up with it. Uh, yeah, uh-oh. It's not staying too close. Uh, may maybe? No? There's a part that's like trying to latch and it's not latching. Oh man, it might be a dud, you guys. Well, there we go. Okay, it's it's good at least for now. Put that out to the side. I hope that the mold's not messed up for it. That'll be really sad. <clears throat> but here we go. Uh, actually, nah, nah. We'll get it. We'll get into it. Why not? Darkest Pinsitar. I was gonna say it last because Darkest is one of my favorite factions. But still, it looks really, really cool. That zigzag of purple with all the black. And then the legs. It just. I, I love the purple on it, man. That's the thing about Darkest. I really love the the purple with the black, looking so awesome. Then that green. Right there in the back. Yeah, looking so sick. All right, and there we go. All right, so let's see. Pinsitar, all that purple right there. You see the head, the head being the green, and then 
the purple on the tail, the purple on the back of the tail especially looking so, so cool. Uh, yeah, man, let's see it's B-Power. What? Oh, B-Power 100. Yeah, it's probably going to be meant for damage decks for sure. Hopefully it has some good damage with it. If not, then that's going to be pretty sad. Yeah, I can imagine a Darkest Auxilitar with this, you know, having 100 B-Power and then like 10 damage or something. So definitely meant for a damage deck. Hopefully it has some pretty good uh, damage with it. So, yeah. Tail in, and then those big old claws. And there it is, man. Darkest Pinsitar. All right, last but not least, we've got Ventus. Uh, Fenica. Fenica looking so adorable. And the ball form for it. So cool. Like, you know, for the core. The cute little face right there, man. The Fennec Fox, of course. Got these stubby little feet. And then this big old tail on the back. So, yeah, and the big old ears. But Fenica, just in general, looking really, really cool. So, yeah, man. Also, uh, this, you know, this part in the front being really spring-loaded. So, way to close it. You got to put that up. Feet back. Head down. There you go. And then the wings and then the tail. Really simple to close. But, yeah, man. Ventus Fenica. Or did I? Did I? Oh, man. I might have had to. I might have done it out of order a little bit, a little bit. But let's try this again. Um, boom, boom. Uh, boom, I think the tail first. Or is it? Is it the tail first? What? What? Okay. Let's see. Boom. Yeah, it is that part down there. I just got to get out of the way. I think I got it right. Let's try this again. That back. Boom, boom. There we go. Just had to get them underneath. And then the tail. So, yeah, man. Ventus Fenica. Really, really epic. I can't wait to see Fenica in, like, Darkest and Arliss for sure. <clears throat> it's going to look so cool. But, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. I'll get all of the uh, action cards in the front. All right. And then there's some tape stuck to it. I think I got them all. Yep, okay, here we go. So, Darkest Apex, there are Darkest Inventus cards coming uh, with this, so I just love that they're doing the different factions. You know, the faction fusions that we didn't see with Armored Alliance or seeing with Geogon Rising. But minus two damage and then draw a card. So, Darkest and Ventus card right there. Then Blinding Aquabite, two cost, plus four damage, and plus two two frost strikes that's pretty cool um then we got double charge six cost minus 1200 big time b power loss with that triple blazing barrage plus 200 plus two and scan once again scan uh look at the top card of your deck if you like it you can keep it there if you don't like it you can put it at the bottom of your deck so yeah that's what the scan effect is i know i'm saying it a lot but just for anybody who doesn't know so yeah darkest arcleon two cost uh a thousand and seven. If it lands on a fist, it gets plus five hundred. If it lands on a shield, it gets plus three. And the shadow strike two. Yeah, that's some big time power. I mean, what getting up to uh, sixteen fifty and nine turn two? It's a lot of power. But yeah, this, this is also why you can only use like a geogon, uh, only one geogon per battle, like one per deck. You know, essentially. So yeah, that's one thing I really love about the balance with it. Uh, and if you land on a shield, still a big-time boost. I mean, 1,410. Like, yeah, no matter what. Some pretty good um, B-Power with it and damage, too. Stardox, Eye Blast, 4 cost, plus 900. All right. And then we got Surtaran here. Yeah, I, I knew it was going to be high cost for it. Uh, 7 cost for it, but 212. But, I mean, you air zero it out. That would be pretty wild. But in that case... Just thinking about how Geogon work. If you air zero it out and you like open your certain Bakugan, I think it's like if you air zero it, then you have to replace that Bakugan with this. But granted, 2,000 B power and 12 damage, that's a pretty good replacement, you know. So, uh, yeah. I mean, turn seven, you know, so might, some people might be skeptical of it. But 2,000 and also having that 12 damage too. But yeah, dude. Then Ventus Fenica. 605, it has the shield and also a regular fist. So getting up to 1,000, it can break 1,000. So 1,005, and that artwork for Fennec, looks so cool, man. Got all those vines growing around it while it's on the beach. That's sick. All right, and then we got Sharktar, 206, double shield. So, yeah, 
definitely more useful for a, a damage deck. I really wish or hope that they put in like some more cores to help out certain, well, some more cards to help out certain cores, you know, like how they did with Holy Flame, you land on a fish, you get plus 600, like if they did more of those for shields, they did more of those, Magic Shield doesn't really need it, because Magic Shields are powerful as truck anyways, but maybe adding like a little bit of damage with it, you know, um, but especially like Shields and Flame Fist, I'd say, well, Shields, Flame Fist, and Regular Fist mainly, uh, yeah, Helixes are just interesting in general, so, yeah, you know, maybe if a Helix, it'll add some damage with it, so, you know, but yeah, definitely love to see more cards like that. But this is getting up to like 406 right away. So, uh, yeah, I mean, mainly focus on the damage deck with it. So, yeah, and then Pinsitar, yeah, man, 107. Uh, so definitely damage deck feels with it. It has a magic shield with it, but still, you're better off going with the damage deck. And getting up to like three with the uh, fist, so 110 it can get up to. So definitely with like a Mac Mock deck will be useful. Yeah, and I really hope they put in some more um, kind of like Mac Mock type of cards, you know, where you can win based on the damage or such. Um, you know, that would be really, really cool to making uh, damage decks that much more effective, like a few more of those cards, because we don't really see many besides like Might of Sindius and Mac, and then there's one with Armored uh, Alliance. But yeah, dude. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan, Geogon, Rising, Darkus, Arcleon, Aqua, Surtaran, Geogon, Brawler Pack. But hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Nailed all those rules, dude. Heck yeah. Uh, only missed one. But yeah, anyways, till then, stay awesome. And Bakugan, bro, I'm up out of here.